they they did say that uh, we kind of picked up uh, or generally business picked up post covid uh, so anything with regard to business did people like face difficulties i think when people have problems we have a lot of work to do yeah i would try to put it that way yeah yeah covid is the time when i think most of them did not get their salaries or they got very partial salaries oh, they were literally frugal living and things oh. like that and uh, businesses uh, anyway they all started operating from home one good thing that happened i observed is that you know they started saving on the operational costs okay because they started working from home okay. and things like that mm-hmm. they saved on rent and a lot of other lot expenses of things, right but that is not enough right you have to mm-hmm. generate income correct you are used to earning x amount of money and suddenly you start uh, getting lesser so you start feeling jittery True. isn't it and once you lose, yeah. you get the taste of money money breeds money Correct. greed breeds greed <laughs> so everybody wants more <laughs> yeah so there are a lot of people who came with uh, issues related to work not just business work also oh, okay. basically mm-hmm. career because even their salaries were reduced correct so you know uh, things like that so then uh, for such souls we directed them to the business shiva temple i call it Anyway, Shiva is my favorite lot when I look at the kind of things look magic at the, things the way he is working around his devotees is creating oh, magic amazing and why i call it business shiva is actually uh, <laughs> the temple is chetty upper temple and padi alanda naiki devi oh, so wow. again it's very complicated to uh, pronounce the name mm. but uh, what is the speciality of this temple basically mm. here lord shiva and parvati they themselves did business oh. so uh, how did they do the uh, carry on their business so basically they were selling groceries Uh, okay and shiva was chetty upper and devi was padiyala nayake oh. so uh, shiva was having the balance where you weigh the mm-hmm. um, the, the grocery uh-huh. the scale so scale. Big scale and uh, devi parvati has the uh, we call it chatak in kannada so it's a measuring cup basically mm. so with which you measure the uh, groceries again so and apparently some devotees who went and uh, wow. you know bought things from them they prospered and they prospered in multifold i mean unimaginable ways and then they realized that these are not ordinary business uh, couple there is something more to that and then uh, through the other uh, siddhars mm. or the saints they realized that though this is lord shiva and parvati trying to bless everybody to prosper so they have a business annual business festival bharani nakshatra is considered very auspicious to worship because that is the day he manifested there to do business and uh, people who are starting their startups or uh, you know who are have multiple sources of income like you know they have mutual funds on one side mm-hmm. they have rental income they have uh, a, a professional job like a mainstream income so you know multiple sources they want to increase that and they have a, they want to have a a corpus in mind for their retirement mm-hmm. and you know they want to work towards that and they don't know how to go about it because they are right now only earning salary mm-hmm. and they are like uh, finding it so hard to meet, make ends meet and plus we have to pay for pujas <laughs> and so many things so how do we do this so all of them have the benefit of shiva business shiva puja okay phenomenal phenomenal paper paper work with the government has got cleared in no time like i'm talking about clients who lived abroad and who oh, need visas that's... also Mm. like you know was switching between jobs and you know uh, switching between job to mm. uh, business so mm. they have a lot of paperwork to do otherwise they won't be able to stay in the country Correct. you know they're literally like in tent of hooks and they don't know how to go about it so all of them have got uh, immense benefit mm-hmm. of shiva temple this particular business shiva temple oh this is amazing yeah and uh, people who are into sales who want to push sales okay uh, so they are the ones who obviously get uh, you know they they see results instantly mm. So that is one thing, and Swarna Krishna Bhairava also. Swarna Krishna Bhairava is a form of Bhairava, again form of Shiva. Shiva, okay. And he is known to bestow wealth, and we do Ashtami pujas for him. And uh, and doing it for eight Ashtamis continuously is a challenge, but that is one of the phenomenal results. So what happens in between is uh, you know people get engulfed engulfed by Maya or some activity, something they do. some in in some block the karma doesn't really allow them to complete more than four ashtamis oh some break in between and then okay and then you have to start all over oh so which means once there is a break it can't continue from correct. there correct oh, okay. for best results i'm saying oh okay otherwise also people see results so they want uh-huh. to do the next ashtami right because they're seeing something good happening now they want mm-hmm. to do again but uh, what is happening is uh, they are facing some mm-hmm. block that means karmically they're not ready yet to uh, 
earn that money correct but that is not the point the point of puja is whether you are karmically ready or not you make yourself ready correct so persistence is what i would tell you uh, very very mm-hmm. important in this till you receive the blessings or till you get your desired results mm-hmm. you should continue your efforts correct so it's basically saying don't give up never give up and then because if you're so close you won't know that you're that yeah. close and suddenly you just change your mind and say ah oh, forget it i am done you know mm-hmm. that's it then you are the one who's missing out oh see for gods it's they're not under laws because you don't do it <laughs> somebody else is doing puja you do or you don't do they do, it really doesn't matter yeah true yeah so that was one more thing and we have this ardhanarishwara lucky coin which I have spoken about in a couple of videos. Okay, yeah. that also created phenomenal result. People who wanted to get loans or their loan sanctioned. One lady started her own business of making bangles uh, oh. with silver threads. That's nice. Yeah, she was not having any job or anything as such, and suddenly she became financially independent. Oh, ah, uh, so she started earning for herself, and that's amazing. She she has also made a video, and I think we have it on our YouTube channel. an exclusive video of hers itself where she spoken in kannada how okay how things changed after mm-hmm. the ardhanarishwara lucky coin <laughs> <laughs> yeah it has really made a lot of difference to people mm.